So I think we have everything ready to go. Um, Robert's duty is going to be what mostly? Robert, I'm going to ask you to uh, ventilate this person and hyperoxygenate them while I get ready. A couple things I want to do when I get ready. Check my light. Check my cuff on my ET tube. Okay, I did this on purpose. I found one that had a bad cuff. Just so you know what it looks like. If you do that, it doesn't stay inflated, does it? Okay, so we're not gonna, we're not gonna use that. Oh, wow. Before we do something away? <laughs> no, I'll put it back in the bin when we're done. But. All right, so now I have, I hope this one's good since I just opened the package right away. Are you wearing Robert, gloves? you're not ventilating them. Are you wearing gloves? Right I'm wearing now? gloves. I'm wearing goggles. Okay. Um, <coughs> I've washed my hands. I've checked the patient's chart. We do not have a do not intubate uh, order. I've worked with this patient for three days now, and they've just steadily gone downhill. I'm going to leave my syringe like that. Okay, that cuff looked good. Light looks good. I'm maybe going to do a quick assessment if I if I have a pulse ox available how they're how they're doing. Um, how's our pulse ox doing and everything? I'm going to go ahead and use a stylet. Think we're ready? Yep. You got my suction ready? Yes or no? I want suction. No. Do you have it ready? I didn't see where. How you had it? So is there, isn't it? Yeah, I have all this stuff here. So I have just basically what you need. Oh, here. Here, there's your suction tool. So which one are you going to have ready for me? Um, the young one. Okay. So yeah, he may do that ahead of time. When I go and take a look. And oftentimes this, you know, it'll be, oh, I can't see a thing. You need to suction them, kind of thing. So we get some suctioned out real good. All right, I'm ready to make another attempt. I see vocal cords. I didn't take my glasses off this time. So, stylet out. Okay. So, how are we going to check? Okay, what else? Auscultate, chest excursion. Ready to think we're in the right spot? Yeah. Mm -hmm. ah. So then we've got our tape ready to go. So Robert needs to be bagging, and the other thing that he should have done is, what else? Compressions. Change, change the suction over to the, uh, the um, no, we're just intubating here. This isn't a CPR.
all the way to right here this time. Okay. And then while, while I was intubating, Robert's checking. While he's ventilating, I'm checking to make sure the patient's doing well. Questions? Three so days you, later? When do you switch to that? Good question. Depends on where you are. So if we're in the ICU, what would it be? Again, having another person, they're getting a ventilator set up for us. If you're in the emergency room, you're just going to probably bag them up to the ICU. You can start with like... And hopefully somebody has a ventilator set up for you when you get up there. Yeah, you see this person I would probably, that would be my choice. Our volume control or CMD, depending on what's going on. Mm -hmm. Alright, so three days later, patient's doing so much better because you guys took such good care of them. Yes. Now I'm really going to need your help for this one. Now. <coughs> so, ready to extubate? Check the chart. Make sure there's an order. Blood gases look good. Or the doctors in the room. Wean crammers looks good. Or the doctors in the room. Uh, I'm not sure what. We extubated yesterday. Oh. And the do doctor was right in so okay, let's do it. Yeah, very. Well, mostly with adults. Actually, the doctor is very rarely in the room. <coughs> nurse may be in there. Get the nurse to help you if she or he or is, is ready or willing or able. They're always able. Um, so I've done all my chart work, washed my hands. I would recommend definitely gloves. You're going to want gloves for this one because um, this is going to be kind of messy around here. Goggles probably a good <coughs> idea because they're going to cough. Um, What's that? Yeah. That's probably, that's a good idea. The other thing that I didn't really say the other day is when I extubate, I like to get them to sit up quite high, um, not back too far, so they're sitting up quite a bit. Um, and then we talked about making sure that maybe their TV <coughs> has been turned off for a while. Same with the intubation. Um, equipment is pretty much the same. You want everything you might need, or at least readily available that you might need to re-intubate. The big difference now is we want to make sure we have our oxygen therapy ready to go. So Robert set that up while I'm, I'm talking here, right? Put the vent on standby. Well, not yet. Well, but when you're ready. Um, don't, don't jump the gun too much. Uh, so what do I need to do right now? Let's, I think maybe for simulation purposes it would have been better to actually have a vent circuit. So you get that, like we did with the suctioning one, when we took them off the vent and put them back on. That would be a good idea to do that with this one, too. So they're still on the ventilator. What do I want to do before we pull the tube? Suction. Suction. Get, all the, get the feeding tubes out of the way and everything. Um, okay. If it's there. He doesn't have one. I can readily assess that. So Robert's getting down the ET tube first, and I told him to do that because it's really my check on. Okay. And then. Okay. And I, I actually prefer to use because a lot of times you can't get deep enough with the yank collar in the mouth, so I actually use this one. Um, rinse it off good because you're going to go in their mouth and get as deep as you can with that one. Still on the ventilator. We haven't really taken them off the ventilator yet. All right. Got them suctioned well. You're like, well, almost with a mannequin. When I think about this, I don't even really want to do it with a mannequin without gloves on. Okay. You've got our oxygen set up. What are you going to do with your suction? Let's switch, yeah, let's switch it over to the yank <coughs> yeah. so, You know, some of the closed systems now, they have both. You can have them both available at the same time. 
Um, you have your resuscitation bag. It's on the oxygen. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start. If you want, you can vacuum now. I'm going to untape the two. Like I said, you can cut the tape. Um, Cuff. Right, so Robert's giving him man manual ventilation so we can control a little bit easier. When I take the cuff down, okay, I want you to give him a big, big breath, okay? All right, one more time. All right, take it down now. Big breath. Big breath. And then slow down. You have to watch what I'm doing. Okay? You're my assistant. <laughs> when you take the cuff down, let's do that again. Back up. Okay. Right, so when I take the cuff down, we, if we really time it well, what we could do, take the cuff down, you give him a big deep breath, and then I take it out, and then you hold that breath when uh, when when he's um, when we take it out, and then we can take the cuff down, and get it out of there in one fell swoop. That's what's kind of nice about having a, an assistant too. You tell yeah. them to cough if they're trying to. Uh, yeah, I, I usually do because it, they're going to cough anyway, so it, it helps them feel like, well, that's what I'm normally supposed to do. Yeah, Kim? I'm just trying to imagine with the ones you said, take, tell them to take deep breaths, so you want them almost inflated as big as you can while you've got tubes Yeah, because then you've got a little bit of, a, probably a bigger area to pull the tube through. So assessment after I'm done. Oscultate, Strider, Pulse Ox. I'm going to finish taking the tape off. Robert's going to apply the oxygen. And then you're almost always going to have to use the Yank Howard suction right after you pull the tube out. And then if that gastric tube is in there that's and comes out also, um, I usually look down, if it's a long-term intubation, this sounds kind of gross, but I like to look down the ET tube and see if there's any plugs in there, just uh, for future reference. Questions?